Project Watch, this is Serpy. Now, today I'll be talking about two things. One will be some of Wasi 87s from John's Road. Them catch them all the way in a St. Elizabeth on a criminal operation. They go on hear about it and why it's interesting, especially as it surrounds Wasi and my Indo afterwards. Next, I'm going to talk about the mayor, my name Norman Scott. The mayor of Spanish Town. We have a player all the recording and only in an Irish man you can sit in like this and none will come out of it. But first, we could start with what's 87 them. Now, you might know a uh, quote unquote DJ by the name of Full Black Boss. People from St. John's Road know him as Round Face. This youth, the 87, when I was 87 them, him and a youth named Boya are two of Wasi most known 87s. The man marked them in a war. As a matter of fact, recently, them got to kill Boya, but he managed to escape. So, in the news, it pop up say, Man in a Manchester, a grown and a rob elderly citizens. People them call police. Police them managed to intercept them in a St. Elizabeth. When them catch the man them, search the car, them find illegal weapon. Boya in the car, round face or full black boss as many of them know him in the car four man in total when them start to inquire where them come from St. John's Road where John's Road 87s are the all the way in Manchester you see I tell you know, how many of these criminals operate you see things happen in a St. Mary you see things happen in a Hanover you see things happen in a Portland and enough of the time them is man from other places and move into these communities, into these divisions and commit the crimes. Old people, you know, senior citizen, grandpa, that's where your favorite quote unquote bad man left all the way from John's Road to Manchester to rob. People are called police as a car drive on and rob people. All kind of phones and things get fine in the car. So, police say money should hold on upon them. But, that was Wednesday. Guess what happened on Thursday? They say Wasi is the leader of that local group of 87 in Span John's Road. In a one order as a whole, Wasi is not exactly not done for one order. But in John's Road, you know people say, man run off your so, a man run off your so. Right. Wasi was one of the local era leader them. That is why him and Mark did get them dispute. Mark I tell Wasi say, him and a bad man, and him not run nothing, and him a fool and him just start bad, I know it got ready. Kinda of Jamaica, you just start bad, is a this. You only start bad last year, is a this. If me at 87 and me start kill people from 1982, and you start kill people in 2021, you are a lesser human being, I swear it work. Right? Who bad the longest, who kill the most, over the longest time period, equal more clout in a Jamaica, more ratings. So when it was announced in the news, that Wasi was handing himself to the police. Enough people that say, see there, the pressure get to him. But people were missing out on what happened in Manchester. You see, once Boya and Round Face and the man they get locked up, Wasi is now severely weakened on John's Road. The man they was some of his core 87s. So the fact that Wasi handing himself, in my opinion, that is actually a survival tactic. They won up on four 87s out of crew. Wednesday, Thursday, got in himself. Long time, what's he supposed to handle himself? But he choose that moment. He's now extremely vulnerable. If Mark and Feet 87s them, they just go back in a John's Road and look for Boya them to kill them and I look for Wassy them to kill them. What you think is going to happen when four of Wassy 87s them? In a custody, a safety in my look. No, no, you think to yourself, but oh, but him going to station, him handing himself to the police, so he's now in trouble. Trouble look like you don't know which country you're not talking about. GLOS is the safest place for a criminal. You see, what's in what say, it is extremely unlikely them have no witness who are going to testify against him. And even if there is a witness, it's extremely unlikely not now come out of him. So while in 87 them, 
and especially Boya and Roundface, who was two at the core 87 of them fame. While they in a lock up, he was handing himself and stay safe in a jail because when word get to mark 87 of them, say Boya and them there, get lock up, then probably start gas up the car if you go for Wassy right away. Then probably take out them shamai and start wash the car right away. They want the car to look clean for it and then go in a jam to go kill Wassy. Because they would have said that as a moment of opportunity. A safety my look. Yes, 87 in Jamaica will hand in themselves to the police to get like a safety. Right now, a police station is safer than Jan Road. In a Jamaica, man get locked up and them still a laugh because they must say, well, at least me on the block right now, the block's supposed to hurt so let's go and cool out here soon. Then get free food, shelter, security. Perfect security by the way, because they've been protected by the police. Nobody can go in the jail or go shoot man. So, Wasi is probably laughing in him there right now. It's going to be an interesting time. When I realized that just last year, St. Catherine North was being praised for, you know, the, the crime is, is, is controlled now and the various programs worked and see, social intervention is the key. When I realize how fast things turn around, but under listen. Can't blame on us still. Why would you listen to a little YouTuber? All the experts and scholars, all your favorite politicians tell us eh, to go to your community, run some social intervention program, you know, uh, give them two chicken and everything's out out. Because that's what 87s want, right? Two chicken and something to do. Right? So if you just give them two chicken and a slice of bread, right, then they won't kill because they're, they're shooting because there's not even a slice of bread to eat. Right? Believe or no one believe. All the people in Ula telling about St. Catherine North and Spanish Town calm down because of the social programs work. With them they know. They are wait it out. Just look how fast they turn it around. Remember saw St. James and Westmoreland were the two divisions where most of the forces are going this year now. When you see how Spanish Town just turn around out of nowhere. Like 15, 16 people just dead out of nowhere. Quadruple yaso, triple murder yaso, double murder yaso. All of this happened in like the span of seven days. And remember, this are before the rest of the man from clans was the case. There's still 28 people on trial. Them that touch back road yet. When them touch back road, or if them touch back road, we now go see Spanish Town. Because all of them all score there are get settled. And enough of the man them. Who they on trial right now are actually beefing with each other. No for the man them stop link. When they get lock up, they were one gang. But since man they on trial, man all turn down while them die jail. Man start take over place and get stronger while them die jail. Hezzy is much stronger since him the jail than when him the road. Because bed bugs expand. Anyway, sticking to Spanish town. Let's see, the mayor of a Spanish town make some statements as he was talking it nationwide. We are going to play a small clip because more than the area is full itself. Listen up closely. Those allegations of threats from as far back as last week, Monday, they weren't passed on to him? Well, certainly not by me because I was unable to, to have um, a dialogue with, with so you didn't go to meaning the SSP, you tried, no, you're right. So Mr. meaning Scott? you tried from last week and you didn't get through to him? You didn't find his office? No. I mean, something like that. No, no, I didn't go. I did not go. No. Why not? I, I did not go. I'm, I, I, I've never been um, uh, part of my, my um, our, our communication method to, to go in and have... Um, but Mr. But certainly, certainly but, me or Scott, uh, certainly me or Scott, um, if you saw but, roadblocks being yeah, mounted, uh, it would be uh, significant uh, enough uh, as the mayor for you to go. Uh, uh, well, a proactive um, uh, investigative um, arm of the security force should have been prepared, should have been aware. No, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. That is the mayor of Spanish Town. The mayor of Spanish Town said, then they have intel, said, shooting never go on in the market. 
and the man said him try to call a specific policeman, right? So it's like him a link the soup directly. Cause you know he could have one another number or he could have a direct contact with the soup. Can't get to him. So him say to himself, so it go yeah man. What do you think? When you hear the man that saw while ago, in any other country, that man would have to hand in his letter of resignation. And he cannot represent even a group of ants, much less people again. So the leaders them who tell you say, when you see something, say something, call this, call that. When them see something or them hear something, and them try to call one smart them is left alone. So 119 now work. 311 now work. How about a trip to the station? How far is the station? Is the station on Mars? Or is it on Neptune? Maybe that's how far the station there. Maybe Norman Scott did not have a spaceship. Therefore, he could not get to the police station that was located all the way on Neptune. Extraordinary stuff. Every time I hear something, I'm going to think, well, that's the pinnacle. We can't hear nothing worse than this from quote unquote leaders. It get worse. What kind of circus is this? Listen to the disinterest in the man voice. Me I try to call one police and I couldn't get to him, so I just left alone. I noticed the way I'm saying is because in a fee mind, people are going to hear this and think less of the police. He's putting this on the police. He's saying them should be proactive. What is being proactive? They get intel and then they go do something. But according to Norman Scott, he never tell the police. He's saying, well, other people must tell him. Oh, you know that. You don't know that. Just think about this for a second. You will get information. Right. Say, there's going to be a fire or go burn down a school. You will then try to call Smaddy, right, the chief of the fire brigade, and they get to him. So you say, well, I'm not calling nobody here, man. I'm not going to the fire station. I'm not telling nobody. Smaddy else must tell them. So now it burn down, and you turn up afterwards and say, well, I think Smaddy is going to tell them. That is how somebody look upon the situation as a quote-unquote leader in Jamaica. These are the people who get to the top of Jamaican society. These are the people with the biggest titles in Jamaica. The titles that we are told we must have so much reverence for. Don't you know he's the mayor? Don't you know he's the MP? Don't you know he's a lawyer? Don't you know he's a chief justice? But just look at them actions. Look at how them approach life. You know them old people say, you don't care? Them man you don't care. Jamaican leaders don't care. You can't care. Both people. And I've been kind of intel and try to call one policeman I can't get to him and nobody call nobody again. Don't even turn it on the station. Oh me for be mayor. A place like Spanish Town that can turn upside down in a one day and me get them intel and me call police and I get to him and just sit on the intel if me have to run go down at the station I run me around if me have to ride a bicycle go down at the station I that me I do I not even call on the phone we call on the phone for a straight down at the station me down because you can say well Mackerel 87 and Mackerel dead Yes, but innocent people were caught in the crossfire. And let me just say this, because people are upset, but I've said worse. The Jamaican masses, the Jamaican people, the Jamaican electorate, you deserve leaders like Norman Scott. You can get upset, hit the dislike button, life will go on. You deserve leaders like Norman Scott. Because when you have a country where a politician can come out, come say this, and then, it's a one day story, we deserve everything when they get. What politicians in Jamaica have to do to face some kind of accountability? What they have to do? Jamaican politicians name call for everything. From gang affiliation, from extortion, the murder, everything. Them name get called for. A man still have long and prosperous careers in the politics. And people still will bite out your head for them. Iron Man, the land of wood, water, underachievement, and no accountability. 
carry this to go somewhere else in the world and make it broken in the news and see what happened to that politician. But they know, say, Jamaican big wigs, Jamaican scribes and Pharisees, but they know, say, them the business about people. Me know, say, them the business about Jamaica. But when you see it, it's a beer face. When you see them don't even care enough to dress it up. We just have to shit made. This man was talking like say, him just find the cure for Big C. Listen to the way the man talk. I'll know him not see what the problem. What? I try to call one smarty and I'm gonna get them. So what you want me to do? <laughs> Make an effort? Is that what you want me to do? Right? Leave the comfort of my nice life as mayor of Spanish Town to go walk down a station or drive down a station. Do you know how much effort that is? What do you people want from me? I remember. But when you deserve when the leaders, when you deserve when the scribes and Pharisees, you deserve everything. I'm just being honest. Agent Squad, big up on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. More life. Ultra Squad, stay circling. Bless.